Grand Island Express. This is Kyle. Hey, good morning. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Are you a recruiter? Yes, I am. All right. Awesome. Just the person I need to talk to. Okay. So my name's uh, LaShawn, uh and what I am, I'm, I'm a part of a, I am a part of a trucking group uh, that spotlights uh, trucking uh, companies. Um, I saw a video of of a young man that tried to get some that tried to get some information uh he wasn't successful in doing it uh i thought i would give you guys a call to you know call and talk to you guys directly um is it all right that i could talk to you about the company i only have a few questions yeah, absolutely. And are you referring to uh, the YouTube video that recently was released? Yeah, 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 that one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, and actually, so um, our director of operations uh, reached out to the, the gentleman that has that show. When he sent that uh, information over, it came very much so looking like a spam request. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, I think like most companies, we get inundated with a lot of different spam email. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, all of those questions were more than addressed um, once we realized like that's who he was. But we had kind of ignored it because we thought that it was spam. Okay. Well, my name's uh, LaShawn mm -hmm. from... Uh, I... I I have a uh, Facebook group called Lockout Men Mains okay. to Call. And what we do, we kind of do the same thing as he does. But so because I'm yeah. able I'm, I'm able to give you, you know, give you guys a call and talk to you directly. Like I know he had like like what five questions. Mine, my questions is more on tune of what you guys have to offer, you know, give you guys an opportunity to tell, you know, potential drivers of what you guys have to offer um, and and what you guys inspect of potential drivers that's that might be interested in Grand Island. So that's, you know, that's yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's that that's on the side that I come from. But let me start off by thanking you for you know first accepting the call and and thank you for uh talking with us so i i really do appreciate it so as far as as far as uh grand island goes um you know the the, the simple questions is uh if a person that's interested in coming into the into the company um what's orientation like like how would you get us out how would you get us up there uh the um oh my god i just got brain freeze uh how would you get us up there <laughs> how would you get us up yeah, there and yeah. what's the uh and what's the uh policy for drug testing is it hair follicles uh urine or both yeah. So um, with transportation, you know, to orientation, um, what we've always done up until probably the last six or seven months is provide dr uh, drivers with a rental car mm -hmm. um, and have them drive from their location just here to Grand Island. Um, and then once they're here, we actually provide a company car um, that, you know, if we have multiple people in orientation, they actually carpool together in one or two of our cars. Um, but otherwise, um, you know, we allow them to have that in order to get back and forth from the hotel to here. Um, we offer a four-day orientation. Uh, during that time frame, they go do a DOT physical at our clinic that we utilize here in town because we like to ensure that all of our drivers are having the exact same physical done. Okay. Um, because even here in our small town, we've had a driver go to one and fail and go to the other and pass. And so for mm. us, just knowing that everybody is being held to the exact same standards um, is really important. So we, you know, cover the cost for them to all have the same DOT physical. Okay. So um, what? A, and, so as far as far as coming in with, for the physical, um, do we have to take another one, even though we already have our DOT cards? 
We do, yeah. So we, um, it's kind of a double-edged sword. You have to have a valid DOT physical to apply and be um, legal, I guess, be in legal status with your CDL. Mm -hmm. But we do require that you take a new DOT physical, which we cover the cost of. Okay. Um, but we do ask that you go and participate in a, in a new DOT physical. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. And you say it's a you say it's a four day orientation, right? Correct. Yep, it's a paid four day orientation. Okay. Any is there is there any uh what's what you call it uh, sign on bonus or anything like that? Um, yeah, actually, right now we are offering one. Um, we call it actually a retention bonus mm -hmm. because we spread it out over nine months. Um, so if after your first 30 days, you're paid out $2,000. After 60 days, you're paid out 1000 um, After 180 days, you're paid out another 1000 And at your nine-month mark, you're paid another 2000 Oh, so that's what? 10? 6000 6, total. Oh, $6,000 over a period of nine months? Correct. Now... I want to play devil's advocate. Why so much in so little time? Because, and wonder why I'm asking is because I I talk to other companies that that offer that same amount, but the payout period is a little bit longer. Don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. I like it. I, hey, I like it, but you know some some companies you know like the spread it out over a couple of years. Yeah, absolutely. No, for us, because we don't like the concept of people, you know, a lot of companies will set it up as so that you have to jump through multiple hoops before mm -hmm. you can get that. Right. And for us, we feel that if a driver is here for that amount of time, that they, by that period, will understand and know that we are, you know, committed um, or, or I guess that we're a good company to work for and they have more of a commitment level to us. So we want to make good on it after, you know, just the nine month period of time. Okay, cool. Cool. Awesome. Uh, as far as, as, as far as, uh, drivers coming in, what, what will be, what would be the experience levels that you guys is looking for and how much is the payout for, uh, drivers with, uh, like say like five years or more uh what what would they get mm -hmm. paid do you and for for let me rewind that do you guys get pay out cent per mile or do you guys pay out percentage yeah so we pay cents per mile and you are required to have at least 6 months of OTR experience to come on board with us and then we have kind of a scale of what we pay out based on experience. So um, it starts, you know, with a six month to a year mark at 51 cents per mile mm -hmm. and goes up to 25 plus years, which is 62 cents per mile. Okay. 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 Uh, do you guys train? I, I know you said six months in, but do you guys offer training for drivers that don't have their CDLs? Um, so, yes, um, we just here within the last, um, well, it's been within the last year, we started to partner with a school um, that's right here in our area. So we have um, just a couple of spots available that we will bring uh, people in, mostly from here in Nebraska, just because it just makes things a little bit easier. Um, that we will pay for their schooling and then they come on board and do our training program. Now okay. we will hire somebody who graduates from a different school with their class A CDL. And then our training program is a four to six week training program. Oh, okay. Awesome. What about, um, what about, uh, hiring? What do you guys do the whole 48 or is there a regional area area that you guys so we, uh, do? Yeah, so we we don't cover a full 48. We are located, you know, in Nebraska, and we really cover anything from the middle of the country east. Mm -hmm. So that essentially is our hiring area. 
um, just because we, we don't go west, so we wouldn't be able to get anybody home that lives west of here, really. So um, anything along the I-80 corridor is a really um, great hiring location for us. We do a lot of hiring out of, like, the Carolinas and uh, Georgia, and then we also hire a lot out of, like, the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Okay. What about what what about Upper Midwest? You will hire from there as well. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Now, being that uh, being that you're able to hire, being that you're able to hire out of that area, um, uh, it wouldn't be no problems for us to take the trucks home, right? No. Um. Really, anybody that lives over two hundred miles from the terminal can take their truck home for home time. All right. Uh, what about um? Okay. So how about this? There, I I have a area that I can uh store the trailer, but am I able to bobtail to my house if need be using um, using PC? Me. Um, that is one of those things that you'd have to work with safety. We do have some, you know, we have stipulations on PC mm -hmm. and especially if you, you know, aren't on your way to a load or if you're on your way to a load or you're still on the clock or things like right, that, we right. really don't want you using PC. Um, so that is something that a driver would just need to communicate with their fleet manager and our safety department on, because we've really tried to be better about cracking down on, you know, improper use of PC. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, W2, uh, uh, W2 company or both yes. 1080, mm -hmm. uh, 1099, uh, what is it? 1099. Yeah, I mean, we do employ owner operators here, but we are primarily, you know, all of our company drivers are W-2 employees. Okay. Do you guys offer, do you guys offer any type of leasing there? Um, we do have a lease purchase program. Um, a driver does have to be on board for 90 days as a company driver mm -hmm. before they can participate in the lease purchase program. Um, we right now aren't um, actively doing that program because with, you know, not being able to really get trucks and things um, right. Right. here lately and with the pandemic, um, we had multiple drivers purchase trucks here about a year ago. So mm -hmm. we're anticipating in about February or March of 2022, we're going to have some more trucks that we'll be able to lease out. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, other than, uh, other than standard pay, what, what other, what other pay that the, that the drivers could get? Do you guys pay for holidays, breakdowns, detention and mm -hmm. layover? Have, like, yep. All of those things we have pay set up for, they get six paid holidays. We have layover pay, breakdown pay, detention pay. Um, we also, if drivers are willing to cover our loads that are in the Northeast pay additional pay. Um, on top of their base uh, cents per mile pay. So we pay an extra two cents if you're willing to take loads to the Northeast. And then we're also currently right now for new drivers coming on for the first six months that they're with us, instead of them trying to figure out and navigate, you know, the different bonuses that we offer, um, like our safety, fuel, um, those bonuses, uh, we're just automatically giving new drivers the extra four cents a mile bump okay. so that for the first six months they can get comfortable with the equipment and our lanes and just how we operate. And then after six months, they'll start to be able to earn those bonuses. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. Um, now, since you mentioned the Northeast, uh, not too many people are fans of them, uh, but are they, are they uh, forced dispatch to go up in the Northeast though? Um, we don't, yeah, no, they're not forced dispatch. We sit down and we speak to every single driver that starts to ask, you know, what their preferences are. Mm -hmm. um, obviously for us, um, you know, Pennsylvania is a really big area. Ohio is a big area. You know, going into the Northeast is big. That's why we pay that additional incentive for people to go to those areas. Um, but our dispatchers do a really good job of keeping people's preferences in mind. And, awesome. you know, we never force people to go, you know, to a place that they just absolutely don't like to go to. All right. What about uh, what's 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 the percentage of home time? And what I mean by that, uh, do you guys have any like regional 
uh, lanes for drivers to get home every week, or what's the what's the requirement for uh, drivers to get home? Yeah, so um, you know, depending on where the driver is from, kind of determines what the home time will be. Um, so if you're from the Atlanta, Georgia area, you know, you're probably going to get home every two to three weeks uh, for you know anywhere from three to four days. Um, but if you're from Grand Island, you're probably swinging through the house every single week. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you, um, you know, are anywhere along I-80, every 10 to 14 days is a very easy thing for us to do. Um, but we honestly, um, you know, we don't have a requirement per se. It's just, you know, how often we are able to get them in those areas of what we can do as far as home time goes. Awesome. Um, we are, um, yeah, and we do have a new drop yard location opening in the South Chicago area here within the next week that is going to allow more opportunities for people to come from Nebraska to Chicago and back, which will get them home, you know, every couple of days. And similarly, Chicago out to the Northeast and back so that those people can have more home time. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Not a fan of Chicago, though. <laughs> this is like South Chicago along I-80. Oh, okay. That's 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 the better Chicago right there. As long as we yeah, don't have to yeah. go into Chicago, we're good. We're good. Right, um, right. No, this is just along I-80 um, south of Chicago. What uh, What's the equipment that you guys offer? Um, so we lease all of our trucks so we can keep new up-to-date um equipment so right now we're running 2020 2021 freightliner cascadias okay. they're all automatic okay and they come equipped with inverters and refrigerators um, as well as there's an apu opti idle unit that's a built-in feature mm -hmm. um, and then our driver seats are heated and cooled awesome uh what about uh what about the all-intrusive driver cam we do have inward outward facing driver cameras okay okay yeah not 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 two people are are fans of of those also but it is what it is yeah you know it, it is what it is, it is. Uh, yeah and for us it, it came about after an incident where our we had a driver who was um like most times that there's any kind of accidents and drivers are involved or semis are involved you know all the blame tries to go on that driver, person right um Mm -hmm. And we didn't have a way to protect our driver and prove um, basically his innocence. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's why the inward facing cameras came about is because in the event of an accident, we can provide, you know, protection for our drivers and for us as a company that our drivers were not being negligent. Gotcha. Are, do you guys have any, uh, have any trucks that are, that are standard, uh, standard manuals? Or is it just an all? Not. So it's it's a it's an all automatic fleet over there. Correct. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, hey, thank you. Awesome conversation. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, no problem. Thank I, you for actually calling to ask these questions. <laughs> not a problem. Not a problem. I got a. Do you, what? What do you guys do for um, felons? Because I do have. You know, being that, you know, do, I, I do have a uh, social media outlet and a lot of felons do contact me. Uh, what, what, what's your what's you guys policy on felons? So we actually have been, um, I guess, coined a second chance company. OK, um, so we don't disqualify due to felonies. The only thing that we um, can't do is if it was a drug or alcohol offense in the last five years. Oh, Those okay. are the only things that we unfortunately can't do anything with. Um, beyond that, um, we don't disqualify due to a felony background. Awesome. Awesome. Well, you know, thank you very much. Um, again, is, is it all right to share this information? Yeah, absolutely. And what was the name of your platform again? My my platform is Lockout Men Podcast on YouTube, and it is Lockout Men Makes the Call on Facebook. Lockout Men Makes the Call. Cool. Yeah, and if you uh, 
come up with other questions or something that you need, you know, to put all that together, please don't hesitate to give me a call back. I will definitely not have a problem to do that. Uh, if you like, uh, if you like, would, you know, when I put the, you know, put the information in the description, uh, would you like for the drivers to give you guys a call direct, uh, give you a call directly, or is it just the main number that they can call to get in contact with somebody there? Uh, no, they can call us directly. I can provide you with our um, direct um, recruiting phone number if you'd like. Awesome. Go ahead. Okay. It is 866-472-6300. Mm-hmm. All right. And where can they go to fill out the application? Uh, they can find that on our website at giexpress.com. There you go. All right. Well, hey, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, I will definitely share this uh, share this information on you guys' Facebook page. And uh, and thank you for the time. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thanks a lot for calling. Not a problem. Thank you. Yep. Take care. Bye-bye.